All right, Legend of Zelda. Ganon, the king of evil, is broken free of the Dark World and captured Hyrule's beloved Princess Zelda. But before she was caught, Princess Zelda managed to shatter the Triforce of Wisdom and scatter its eight pieces throughout Hyrule. Begin your adventure by finding a small wooden sword in a dark cave. Then, as you grow in stature, experience, and strength, so do your weapons. Help Link like capture pieces of the Triforce, rescue the princess, and thwart Ganon's evil plans. Kinda enjoy the music. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. Long ago, Ganon, Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda of Hyrule broke the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hid them from Ganon before she was kidnapped by Ganon's minions. Link, you must find the pieces and to save Zelda. Magical shield I didn't bother to buy at the shop for me. Shoot of the last time I had a chance to play this, so we will remedy that this time around. The hard part will be trying to manage all my rupee collections so I can pick up everything efficiently, but try to make it work. Please look up the manual for details, including a map insert. Get yourself started here. It begins! It's dangerous to go low. Take this! This part reminds me a lot of WarioWare. Hey, welcome there, Dusty Man. Morning, morning. Happy Thursday. Here, just in time. Just getting ourselves started this morning. Oof. There you go. Yeah, what's that time you feel drop by? How's it going for you? Everything's going well for you here in the new year. Alright. Make sure I know where I'm going. Trying to see if we can do a run through here of the Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Switch this morning. Chance to play a little bit last week, but I'm happy with my overall run through, so I'm hoping to do a little bit better this time around. Now that I'm experience under my belt. That's great. <laughs> Much appreciate the follow. Usually, I'm out here weekday morning, so always welcome to drop on by. Welcome to the squad. <laughs> Alright, we've made it here to the first of the dungeons here, typically referred to as the I do like that the actual dungeons have a count system, so you walk in as like level one. Okay. In case you walk in out of order and wonder which dungeon this is. Alright. 
first door. I do like being able to use this to shoot through the walls and do a solo. More energy attack enemies. We have an idea where the exit is. If I had bombs, I could actually blast my way through these upper walls, but I don't, so. Where's the key door? Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Good enough. I recall that actually gives us a clue as to where we need to head to find the next dungeon. Port to the east. Each of the dungeons seem to have a sage in it that directs you to the next one. Attempt to do them in some general order. They can be hard to find. actual map cross-reference for whatever we've traveled thus far no idea where we need to go right. we have two different treasures in this dungeon to actually collect here so we're here to get the first shot I missed the most. first. Alright, so then we have a blue ring on top of the bomb, so nice. Doesn't do much good against the boss, but the one of my favorite items. I do like that with the dungeons here, you can usually hear the boss on the other side. Shoot fireballs if you open his mouth, so as long as I can keep tabs on that, you'll be safe. Alright, let's do our first dungeon there. That's the easy one. That's 
why I like Boomerang. It's nice for stunning people. Raising here quite a bit in the game. Alright, so this shop should have. Yep. It's nice to have help you to. Not only see in the dark in certain areas, but. Also, quite a few places where you can actually get some extra rupees if you look for them. That was this spot. I think I just missed it the first time. <laughs> yep. Alright, that was my bad. Let's try to do that sometimes. Try to try to dodge the Zora. There we go. Shop there that we'll use later. Pick up our magic shield, but there. Actually, I think the fifth one. Ah, I walked into it. Guess this fifth one. more of those heart pieces. Alright, last one here. Oh, sorry, I didn't think you guys would come back so soon. A little bit further north. And there you go. Gives us a little of points there, so... Sweet. The next item I want to try to get here would be the bow. There's actually a store on the way to our dungeons. I didn't grab that here then. 
that way we can actually shoot arrows. Yeah, they fly around so I can't really hit them until they land. Oops, sorry, I turned around and shouldn't have done that. Actually, a fairy fountain up here. I only have this half the heart, but lost anything. I'm surprised I missed him. Unless this is the shop I wanted to stop at. than I thought. I have quite that much on me, but I'll try to remember to drop by here then get back, hopefully. Or if we just take the time to fight enough enemies we might be able to. And if they're generous with the rupees. <laughs> Has a little bit on itself for Almost up to 80. I didn't have any bad guys on this side. Wait. Now that we have the bow from the first stage, now we have some arrows as well. We can actually use them. Unlike the modern Zelda games, they don't have the actual quiver, so just shoot to your heart's content. Oh, that was right. I think they cost rupees. But I can't shoot anymore because I'm out of rupees. That was what it is. Still don't collect arrows proper, but they do have a cost, so... That in mind. Nothing's free. for me. Just rupees. Yeah, dang. There's a shop here, but I don't need to worry about that right now. Let's move the bonus. He's up here again.
Oh, that's this point. Oof. I didn't expect him to run straight back at me. Okay. Stingy with the health here. Surprised. Find myself a little bit of health before I came in through here, but I'm quite fortunate. I may actually try to go back and if I can get health at the very fountain again. A little bit of a track, but enemies weren't dropping as frequently as I'd hoped, so. Now we're ready to go. Weren't to always be prepared. If I knew they were gonna drop a ferret for me, I could just come straight here. door here in a second. And say I'm surprised they're not throwing any boomerangs or anything. Oop. Missed them. Ah, I got the key one there. Bats you can actually take out the boomerang too, which is nice. 
There we go. There's actually more than one way to get through a lot of these rooms. As long as you know there's a room on the other side, quite often you can actually just blow a door through. We have an idea of where we need to go. Must be up the map, so. More so. Pretty straight level stage here, so. You know, the best way to explore all the rooms. Don't miss nothing. Yeah, we had to force you put up with that so we could get the upgrade for the boomerang, so much longer distant magic boomerang. I didn't think that did anything to them, but here we go. Test it out curiosity. this way again. Sometimes it's nice to be able to save keys when you get some of the later dungeons. Easier to do with this. Dango dislikes smoke. That's our clue. We have how to defeat the boss over here. Say that I wasn't getting as much health as I had the previous time I was in here. There, it's all the difference. Alright, that was pretty straightforward about shooting projectiles or anything, but he's mostly been full, so not to deal with them properly. There you go, easy peasy. is far back in the other direction, so... Alright. Let me be a bit more 
crept here. in town, so... Bigger shield. Last, actually. Like magic now, so... I was up to trouble with some of those things like the lanterns we saw earlier. It's just firing up storm back there, ain't you? Still can't do much about them walking into me, but... Alright, we can't go down that way. Other thing in the shop for better. Actually, need that flower piece. Yeah, there you go. Much easier to deal with them now. Here? Over far enough. on the swing thing, is what it is. I have enough hearts now that I can get the upgraded sword, so remember to that up here at some point. Alright, there's a secret shop here. I had a fast way to switch between these. But... Alright, 
Not yet have enough money for the blue ring, but that'll definitely be our next major purchase. Now I just gotta need to grab the meat here so we have it on hand for when we need it later. And you actually use it to like distract moblins and stuff, but A waste for what we need it for. There, down one more. That's what I'm doing. To level three, pretty straightforward dungeon, which is always nice to see. Fortunately, they don't react to my boomerangs or anything either. We know the boss is back over in that direction, but treasure is still to find. Right, I think this is going to be the simplest way to deal with them. Gracious. I'm not working right. Oh, I'm late for that. I don't think there's anything in here I absolutely need, but I don't even know if there was any way for me to fight this many of them at once. Oh, sorry, that blew them up at once. That was weird. Oh, sorry, I figured that would do something. It's 
sometimes drop fairies, so they were kindly enough. And that yeah, heart will do. I think we're just gonna turn around quite that fast. Try to get them when they turn naturally instead of trying to chase them. But... That's likely to crash into me that way. This raft will actually help us to get to the next dungeon, if I recall. Try not to get ourselves killed here. hurt me, but the curse too, so I can't swing my sword after I get hit by them. Should have probably done it while I was vaguely in the area there, but. But it helps a lot with the finding the dark nuts there. Alright. I've got one more key and a few more rooms left to explore. Told you I'll get there when I get there. They all came back that fast, but more annoying because they don't really seem to drop health or anything, so they just kind of wait. on the other side of this wall and can actually blow it up. Just head over there quick, but the last few tier first. Right. 
anyway. I'm trying to see what we can get done, but... Sweet, now one shot. Get that bomb right where it needs to be. Close to getting a few more items here. action on that screen. Send up here to the very phone anyway. Shoot when I have a chance. They weren't dropping rupees as frequently as I'd hope, so I'll go grab the 10 one over here then. Still almost 10 short, but trying to see if we can get it from a few of the enemies near the shop over there. There, that was all I 
need to... Sorry, that was plastic. That was it. Oh, I only need 250. Alright. Now well, we're ready to go. Next dungeon is actually right across the water. Graph, we can take that dock up to the stage 4, but. Sage in the previous dungeon recommended we go find the sword. The sword we shall go To the boomerang, but it'll work that way. <laughs> up in the right mountain area, just need to find the waterfall so we can head up. Master using it, and you can have this. Yes. Thank you, Norman. Sorry, that doesn't go anywhere. Trying to head back down, but it's kind of the lost mountain path there, so. Bailed to head left, right from here. And I have to go back the way I came. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna see a few other things while I was up here, but I'll get them up back to level 5, which is actually up that hill, so. I figured I would just grab the sword as I was coming back along this way, but nice to have. Wide way after we leave level four of those couple of art pieces we can get by the beach side once we get back that direction. Now I can actually take out some of these enemies in only one shot, so not easy to deal with. And I'm not sure that was gonna do anything. Right. Boss is way up north there, so 
bit distance before we get that far. I need to find in the meantime. Guys come back pretty quick, don't really know why. Makes it less fun to fight them. I have a stronger sword to take these guys out in one shot, so I don't have to worry about the little guys that they spawn afterwards. Alright, then properly came up here. I don't really need to fight you. Upgraded defense. Let me take some of these smaller hits with a little less frustration. Let's just pack the ranks so deal with these guys. And walk behind me like that. to key down there. Can't find much in this room. This guy again. I'm lucky enough to with one bomb blast last time, but oof. Yeah, I know they added boost HUD one point there, but apparently adding extra ones walking to the waterfall. I think that's important for finding some secrets here later. Got a copy of the movie for Christmas, but I haven't around to watching it yet. There we go. Again. Now I actually have a reason to fight. that
curious. My shield can block those, but now I know better. Enough health to take the hit, so... Force it. Alright. I played it four. Make kind of a beeline over to stage five there. Got three more heart pieces I want to grab as we head off in that direction. Should take care of all of those. Well, a letter I want to find. Extra rupees. And then we'll head off to number five. old man. Actually head up there to get where we need to tear away, but nothing you need to find here. Gimme, gimme, yeah. <laughs> To the old woman. Now we have this letter of recommendation. We can get magic potions from the old woman wherever she's situated at here. Okay. Jump around so fast. And there's just a old man, but. Is he? Very arbitrary secret up here. It's true. Here we go, 
grab that out of the way. Alright, since we have the letter of recognition, there is actually up here. Show you the letter. Cycled, it doesn't. There. So now I have a way to refill my hearts. If I find myself in dire straits, one dungeons. Always good to have. Death Mountain is just a straight shot up. Just a straight shot up. Just a little bit further. Alright. I find a stone set. Level 5. I'm gonna do best I can to avoid this properly. Start getting some more next dungeons at this point. All oh, right, these guys—they are a tricky bunch. But they're actually pretty easy to take out as long as you don't mind wasting the rupees to do so. Oh, I can pick up rupees with arrows. That's so weird. I knew I could with the boomerangs, but that makes sense to me. But. Daughter hates certain kinds of sound. That's important. That's how you have to deal with the actual boss here. Alright. What to the dongos here and potentially fight? I don't know if I absolutely need to, but I want to give a cherry shot here. Just wiggles. Oh, missed him. That's gonna make harder though. Yeah, I was hoping it would actually drop additional bombs, but it didn't, so. Well, notable. Bounce. 
nice enough to drop bombs. I just haven't had enough to finish them. Get an extra key that way. In case you should be. Fortunately, it's a one way door or so. It's the only way to for me to get to it. these guys. That they turn around so fast. Not turn around, correct, so they can only go left or right, not uh, 180. Oh, there we go. Darn it. No, they're not. The... Troublesome to even know that you can come down here, but he has its and exploded walls. All right, so that led us up there, I believe. So heading off. And stuff worked on them, but I get them in the right rhythm and distance, they're not so bad, but a lot of times I have a hard time turning myself around fast enough to know where they're standing and wind up doing that nonsense. Enemies are single enemy that are his favorite in the whole game. There's no real good way to fight them. But we gotta fight them. This is the reason I bought the potions, because then, then I get to the bosses, rooms, and stuff. I have to get myself some necessary health back. Eventually, have to make our way back in there, but. Alright. Actually, a uh, old man hiding in that room there that you can buy some extra bombs from, but I have bombs to blow my way in there. I also don't have money for the bombs. I think it's about 100 for the whole set, so. Moot point, but. I think to know if it would it come up. Alright, so I've gotten through all that and managed to get the all important recorder. These guys are good. Less of mummies, more like nerdy ticks and straight jackets. Ah, ah. Alright. I don't need to go back and see. Yeah, which room is it?
don't need to fight them again. I think I've done that. We'll grab map though. Got a good chunk of that lower section done already. A uh, little bit there. Missed that room there, but. Before I read the cranny. Edification. There's an old man there you can buy bombs from. Slowly so trying to get my health back. <laughs> sometimes they go knocking away, sometimes they don't. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Nice. I need to deal with them the same way. Just a straight shot to the boss at this point. Sorry, I already had the kettle. I don't know, I'm carrying on right side, I think about it. Ciao! Ciao! It's not, it's not quite the insta kill to most normal enemies, but for some reason for them. to get to here and go like, I can't fight him, I can't go here, where do I go? Gotta find the secret room in the creature's jaw there. Hey! Good to see you there, big time. Sorry. I need that. Thursday, appreciate you dropping by here. Alright, so that's number five. Then we need to head on over back to the Lost Woods area so we can head on number six. For the most part, we should have all the major items that we need. Got the lantern arrow, shield, meat, got the health upgrade, got the blue ring, and all the heart pieces. Yep, yeah, let's head off and over that direction. Got the magical sword. Okay, yeah, we have enough for the magical sword. Good. Grab that while we're heading on over to level 6. Deal with that. Very distance away over there, so I might get lucky and get closer with this. Get to level 4 or level 1. I already used it in this room already. 
these rules. I'm lost! <laughs> Where I started. In game to know that, but it is. Alright, we need to wait to the cemetery so that we can get the magical sword here. Or the most section. Back. Right. Straight at me. Powered up. Yeah, even. <laughs> Swing and a miss. So that makes things so much easier for me. So much better. Didn't fix the dark nuts, but we're gonna have to deal with them. Aim at the eyes of the coma. So now you know how to defeat the boss in this zone again. was done to me. Mwaha! Now you're pretty.
walking into me thing we didn't quite address again. Alright, so now that we're here, we can actually head up there to fight the created dragon again, but does no one have to waste the time. the amount of damage that you just walking straight into me right there. Some of the earlier enemies we fight on a regular basis here. Now they got away. That's right, Steve. This is a giant hole. Alright, so now we have that. We'll blow our own giant hole. Don't really, to be honest, need a magic wand for anything. Not hardly any points in the game where I use it for too much, but. Yeah. Just slightly off center there, so that's nice. Yeah, grab that. Head back this way because we need to get something else down in the corner here. It's actually where we need to go to finish what we're doing. It's actually some worms up here that we can explore. We don't really need to do again, but it's for edification purposes. old guys. There are secrets where fairies don't live. That's important. It actually tells you where the next dungeon you need to find is. I mean, if I have to get hit by something, get by the guy that doesn't do damage. is actually on the other side of all that, so go all the way around here. Just because it's easier than dying repeatedly. I got more than enough money to buy an extra one, so let's just spend money on. As we'll use them. Magical sword, it does enough damage to counteract the splitting, kind of like it does with the slimes. Yeah. 
curious of what this does to them damage-wise. Nothing. Okay. That's how useless that is. Seriously, but the... It's just like, die, 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 die. I don't know how to deal with the roll. Walking straight at me, I think. Since magic doesn't work. I was always told magic must defeat magic. We came from there, even though we're standing nowhere near it. Sora, but you can walk straight at me. Yeah. I didn't need those bombs, but... Really equipped here, we can do with you. Ah, dead. Still annoyed that my magic shield doesn't block the boss's magic blast, but it's not making sense. Alright, now that we've done that. World 7, it's actually just a little bit south of us. That could be very forest there. I should probably take a slight detour though so I can grab a arm bracelet before I head back in that direction. Might as well grab one here. I'm surprised they're still dead. positive one does, I believe it's two of those. And what does that do? Well, that lets you take shortcuts here and there. Only a few of these travel points are around on the map. I don't think any of them really get me closer to where I am currently, because the ones up by the Death Mountain One's down by the starting area towards the beach, and then the one's over by the fairy fountain, on the smack middle of the stage, so none of them are immediately close to where I want to be, but it's all work. About as close as where I was currently. I had to go back home through the...
Alright, so we said the whole thing with the lake that doesn't have a fairy. This is what I was talking about. That fancy recorder that we just got. Sometimes the game gives you vague clues to where you need to head for different dungeons, so. Alright, so we're up to number seven now. One more complicated to go along. No one be needing that. Oh, it's fun, boss. Every enemy room has a key enemy that you can do that with, but... I wanted to save it for... Yeah, and that would be beat up by... Yeah, I'm dropping off a lot of nice hearts, so that was helpful. Another old man here that can drop by and say howdy to. There's a secret! In the tip of the nose. We gotta fight this guy again for some reason. We just fought him. We did, but so much fun with him. Again. Dolphos. The easy for me. First fought them because let's smack them with one hit. I do wish the later end enemies there is lucrative as many of these ones, but what it is. Drop yeah, hearts, drop rupees. Put to nothing. Mostly just so we can get an extra key. Now we've gone all the way down that direction. Big block in the middle. Actually head up this way here. And we know that the boss is up there. <laughs> Compasses later in the series are a bit more helpful. More information besides just where the boss is at. Guys, give me the map. She had a bomb upgrade so that I could take them out more quickly. Ah, I didn't get me anything. Rude. Good thing I played bombs. Money! Alright. There is not much you can get up there if we need me mostly. Babies selling bombs again. We got the money for it. Yeah, you know, or actually maxes out our increases our max bomb count. So 
not a bad thing to pick up, I would say. The opportunity. Just in the previous room. Again, mostly to get an extra key. But the extra bombs were pretty nice too. Let's give you something to do with all my extra cash. Sit still when they throw the boomerang, so be nice to. Ah. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's one. And for the third time, twice just in this dungeon. So this one splits into three. Just to make it more interesting to your toes. Bit of a stockpile, but that's okay. Excuse me, get around. There, let's park straight into them. Alright, this is where I got tripped up during one way. Other playthroughs because I didn't realize I needed things I didn't have. Or you know. that direction, but since we got the inside info, secret room in the top of the head here, I'll stockpile of extra rupees. Plus allows you to bypass another key door in case that was ever becoming an issue. <laughs> it hit me in the back the moment I go to grab that. No one fall really. Flying around at the same time here. Get me out of here. Scenarios where I have to make my way forward by blowing up walls that secret areas, secret in the eye. Now 
Alright. We've got that. Grab ourselves the boss candle. It's the same as the regular one, but there's the earlier one you buy from the shop. You can only use once per room. It's for you as, as many times as you want. Makes it nicer for an offensive weapon. You want to use it that way. Once again, we need to pull the wall. This guy for the umpteenth time. My aim there. Tom's all filled up. Feel bad about blowing up walls to get everywhere. That's why we have the guy standing there like, I bet you need bombs. Probably do. And for the third time in this one dungeon. Second time, and it's like nothing but a non stop boss blitz. We don't need to fight them now, so I'm just gonna. The only real clue that you even have the boss over in this direction is the. That's the front here and whatnot. The. Back! Get back, all of you! That's what makes a lot of these later dungeons difficult. Is like, how would I know that I need to blow these up? Like, well, I mean, you have a map and you know there's a room over there, so then it just comes a noxious trial and error. Like, no. There's no wall doors out of here. But clearly I have to go somewhere, so. Like, well, where do I go? Where do I go? I'm trying to remember. There I am, okay. I didn't know where to draw my lines properly. I get to refight an old boss for some reason. I don't know why. I guess because we fought so many of the other bosses over again. But now we have a Storm Sword, so he's kind of a less useful boss. Cool, cool. Now that we got number seven out of the way, got two more dungeons left to get. And over to dungeon number eight, which is back over at that end of the world by level two. Did we get lucky again? Sorry, that. Yeah. Not what I wanted. Oh, not number two, but actually not a lot further along than we would have been from the other dungeon we were just at. Oh, we tried. I have to hoof it quite as far, but mostly a straight shot from here. The most difficult part of the game is not having the directionality of knowing where a lot of the dungeons are. Yeah, at least nice enough when I get in there to tell me this is dungeon number. Use that as a kind of benchmark. I take the scientific method and write everything down as you go along, so. It's, that's why I said almost a straight shot. It's on the other side of it. A little further. Oops, sorry. Enough though. Get the equipped.
no reason to know it, but... There's number eight. Boss ones too. Glad they stopped shooting at me for a while there. Thank you, Snow. Curious if I can hit them with that. Here's if this does anything to them here. Well, definitely not from looking at me, but. These guys are okay, but... Yeah, for life of me, I've still never figured out how to get the dark nuts. Bombs can sometimes work out alright, but... Try to ra rationalize the functional purpose of the... Magic one there. With this book, increases its vague effectiveness. Most ages. Use a fireball now when it it's a wall or enemy. Too spectacular, but still neat though. Not the most important treasure you can get. <laughs> so if there are kind of professional speedrunners out there, they'd just skip it outright. Reasonably so. Following the pattern of behavior, we're refighting the same bosses over and over again. Behavior of making the way forward through park the doors. Yeesh, this is gonna suck. He's strong enough, I can take these guys out with the and I can get a decent hit on them. You gotta be like that. Trying to get. Troublemakers. Make sure fire away to hunt a rabbit. Alright, so the compass. The boss is up that direction. Care. No. that when it hits a pole's voice, it goes straight through him on like every other enemy. Just blocks in my way here, so... I was trying to do. Obviously, I could use a candle if I felt inclined, but not in any real danger. <laughs> These ones are much easier. Come on. 
juke me as soon as I want to go. Much harder than the Goma we fought as an actual boss, which is a one shot. Already kind of played one, yep, the Rogue Heroes. Someone else felt the same way. Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. That tells you where the final dungeon is. You're trying to figure it out. Doesn't tell you where Spectacle Rock is. I'll let you do some of the legwork. Not so bad as long as I can get the clean hit in, but. Down just leads us back where we were earlier, so we'll continue up this way. Spawn this wall I could blow up. I'm trying to remember what direction I was going. Going up first to come back that way and leads to the boss. That's why I was making sure. So we will sidestep these shenanigans here. Deal with them another time. Again. Ah, what? Actually, when I farmed as a boss, was lucky because I had the only parts of the things. It's gonna get tricky, but I managed to then nail all of them on them at once. Like, oh, good. Yeah, and that way if we want. But once again, we're on like a lot of the other stages. As you'll notice when the, you can spawn the eye of the in dungeon space. So, extra bonus rupees on this key you have to use. I'm not saying if there's always something there, but you have to be attentive to the pattern, so. Right, which wall becomes a whole issue, too. Yeah, again. Alright, so we need to head up there. I can block those, but these ones are. Boss one, so I can't block them. Yeah, that is dumb. What if having a shield that can block magic if I can't block magic? I'm doing a pretty good job at dodging. It's not too fast. Nope, I see I can block theirs. At least with that. Still can't think I can block his though, but I can be well, no, I should, because he's not actually a boss. No, I can't. <laughs> Don't want to fight you, but I have to, because I can't get to the doors otherwise. Yes, <laughs> thanks a lot. So you see the difference between fighting them. Not so bad once I have a magical sword, I only have to do it three times, but really was a lot. <laughs> Alright. This grants us ta-da! 
fancy key. So now we have all the keys we could ever want. I actually had already been saving up on them anyway, so I didn't need it too badly. Now we're all locked and loaded. A is for almighty. Yeah, I don't know what A is for. Okay, just arbitrary. It's a decimal thing. You have how many keys? You have A keys. You have all the keys. Those things just randomly stop shooting after a point. It's nice, I just don't know why they do it. <sighs> Turn too fast. Ooh, same for the. Just gonna do that. <laughs> Try to want to fight you. Space for this nonsense. <sighs> Gotta be like that. Why you gotta do that either? It's like, I don't even come up behind me. The Almighty Key, but semantics. I felt the need to play different. Okay, you know what? I know what you did here. Make it a bit easier for me. Yeah. I mean, if I'm lucky, some of these guys can act else, but. Right, that's all it did. I was optimistic, but you gotta do. Tenth enemy has the bomb. I really don't know what the heck that clue is for. Alright, so little boss then. Not sure whether or not we will. Also not, but it's up. Huh? Heart piece we need, strike force we need, and we're on our way to number nine. Decent amount of time. Shouldn't need too much else I need to pick up here. I might attempt to drop by somewhere to actually buy another one of these potions, but I don't know if I need to. I can buy the. Why well, I don't have the ability to. Well, I could probably just use it manually. It's mostly the. I don't know if I need to. I buy a second blue one if that turns into a red one, or if I just have to buy a red one to flat out replace it with. I don't really know. So here, a couple different ways I can get there. I can actually head back to Lost Woods direction if I wanted that way. 
just cross the river back up that spot over there, which is probably what I'll do. Either way, I'm at the Weave my way around, I guess, is Lake Hylia. this river here and make some of my job easier. Some of it. Deal with the rocks. We can do that to the birds of them on Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, here's Spectacle Rock, so that's fun. Next major destination, but like I mentioned, we'll let's see if we can stop by here or not. Notification is whether or not. I'm guessing I just. That's the I have the money. Mighty sword hands. And I have to deal with the nonsense. There. Through the looking glass here, people. Alright, final stage of our journey. This is the complex one. Yeah, I did. I mean, then the superintendent one was kind of similar. He actually would stop us here to say, you need all the Triforce pieces, but all the Triforce pieces, so he doesn't show up. Yeah, this whole section here, big loop. Sometimes still press the B button. Yeah. Which again, we don't. What are you guys doing here? Seems arcane. First thing you do when you get here is realize all this just loops around in a big circle for no reason. Should have gone in this room. Sorry, I didn't take anything from me. I know that can eat my shield, but I still have it. Yeah, the point of all that self reflective damage is all you do is come back and make the move. So, once again, you have to take the force method of bombing your way through to where we actually need to be going. Need that nice enough to give us open doors. Thank you. 
Alright. There's a couple different treasures and stuff to find in this particular map, so I can get everything situated here so I can figure out where I'm actually going. Alright. Here. Actually, a lot of rooms in this dungeon that you don't even ever need to travel into. Rupees didn't need. Feels good to pick them up anyway. Actually, I'll be back in here in a second. I think I wanted to find down here. One of those key doors where you go like, there's a room there, but how do I get through? And then you that bump the walls. All that from compass. So we have the vaguest of directions for where do you need to be headed. I don't expect anyone to get health. A little better than last time. So from here, yeah, looks like I'm gonna head down. Sludge. Is there anything? Oh, rubies. Basically nothing. Now that we're in this room. That one we're wanting to get. Got the oh, corner, that's fine. I wasn't realizing I needed to blow up a wall again. Waste time following doors. There. Now we have a cool looking map and go like, oh my gosh, how big is this stage? Pretty big. Okay. Man hit with me. Not need that many bombs. I'm curious if these do much with them. Pass through them like I got cursed there. You had to come up just a long time, didn't you? Yeah, there's a key here in case you didn't have the mighty key, but.
could have made the way for myself a little bit clearer in this map, knowing that I had the master key and didn't need like all these extra ones, but that's okay. Yep, yeah. needed to bomb our way through the dungeon. as it were. Spider vague defense up. The worst is that this one's hidden behind the door that you wouldn't even know was there. side of another new defense item here so since the other one wasn't really helping us against those guys hopefully I won't need to use another one of these Pretty much all we were doing here was to get that defense upgrade, but now we have that beeline back this direction. Go to the next room. Stare at him. There's no door, bro. Said go. Ah, I didn't turn off fast enough. It's those people skills. Gone through that one. Take us vaguely in this direction. <laughs> Not criminals it yet. I mean, the other stages they're slimes, but in this one definitely blobs. There's an old guy up there to say hi to, but yeah, it's not worth me fighting them just to say hi, dude. He tells me where to find the map. Kind of. <laughs> He's all in an unhelpful way. Patra has the map. That, I'm guessing it's the name of the book. Bad guy creatures, but... I like an instruction manual, not that you hear of that. Solve my riddle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that actually worked out pretty nicely. Don't hit me too. Just give me the map, old man. Yeah, that's the right attitude. Oh, 
not so bad if I actually have full power because then I can actually find my distance. That's why I keep trying to find with the magic wand or the bow and arrows, but none of those work. So why do I have things that don't work? Always with the bombs. And they start bum rushing me in the corner knowing that I can attack right range. It's like think so? Huh? Huh? We tough guy now, eh? The defense does help. So, rip me apart nearly as bad. Yeah, all important item. That defeats the final boss. You don't got it, then you're out of luck. Scratching your noodle. That's where the other guy mentioned in one time that the arrows were important. <laughs> Scan is a werewolf, apparently, yeah. I mean, broadly speaking, a lot of creatures are <laughs> mythologically weak to silver, so. Salt and sour, which are usually best go to's. It's a victimless crime, like stabbing slimes in the dark. Thanks for me health. Wasn't a waste of time. You guys are wasting my time. Then I get rid of half heart when they run in me instead of whatever they were doing before. In the way. Stand on the stairs? Move. Ouchies. Ah, ouchies are fine. Maybe even fun. Be like a tough guy. Oh, he's moving up. It's more obnoxious while he's also rotating the whole screen around. Okay, so... Pretty close to the end here. Figure out where I was going. Yep. Literally. Not to interrupt. Power of the trap was compelled you!
most obnoxious of bosses. That's what you need Silver Arrow for. Otherwise, it just goes, eh, and then goes back to doing all that again. No, you're invisible. The spell. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. Gotta have the accent, exactly. The end. And Link will save the day. He has saved the Princess Zelda. Short sweet credits. There we go. And is defeated. Of course, is restored. Everyone was saved. Should be the princess. All that good stuff. Good times. That gives you a chance to restart the game in the harder hero mode, which I think adjusts some of the layout of the dungeons a little bit. Not like the map, but some of like the enemy stuff. It's all it's all a little bit different. Harder. Oh. I was looking for that extra challenge I'm going to do an extra run at some point. We have a fancy sword to prove it.